Once you have downloaded the Xcode 12 beta, you can uh, open it and create a new Xcode project. And then from here on top, you choose the iOS and we're just going to create on the application. This is going to be an empty application. Click next. And then you have to decide uh, what application, the name of your application. I'm going to call this, uh, let's meet. And then we have some uh, theme here. This is going to be your Apple developer account and the uh, organization identifier. Usually this is reverse DNS of your website. Then interface, I'm going to, uh, there's two options, SwiftUI or Storyboard. I'm going to choose the Storyboard. Um, by the way, this view may be a little bit different depending on the version of Xcode you are using in case if you are watching this in future. But uh, these are the main things we need to choose. Lifecycle, there is no other options currently. So we just, just UI kit delegate and language is going to be Swift and not Objective-C. I'm not using core data and I'm not going to include uh, the tests. So just click next and this will ask you where you want to save your project. I'm going to save mine on my desktop so it's easier for me to locate it. And then there is a thick here if you want to create a Git repository on your Mac. This is a good thing to keep it so you can uh, use Git and keep track of your changes of the application. Just click create. And this will go ahead and create a new project for you. Let's just go uh, through some of the aspects here and see what we have here. On the top, uh, by default, it selected the application name and you can see the part here under the general, you have the application name. By default, it's the application name that you choose, but you can put anything here and this is what will show on the iPhone screen under application name. And you have the bundle identifier. This we're going to use a bit later. The version is the application's current version and build number. These parts uh, you shouldn't be bothered unless you are planning to upload your application to App Store. And uh, they are used actually when you update your application, you are going to just change the version and then you are allowed to submit an update to the App Store. And then we have the deployment target, which is iOS 14. The currently is the latest version that I have on this beta version. And then uh, you can target iPhone or iPad. I'm going to deselect the iPad because we're not going to do that. And also uh, it shows which is your main storyboard. Uh, it's the file here. Uh, the rest we're not going to touch. And these are the just uh, the orientations the application is going to support. So it's portrait, landscape, left or right. We're not supporting upside down. This is by default. Status bar, you can choose dark or light. So it's up to you what you want. Just keep it and it's going to be the system default. And here it's asked where the source of app icons is going to be. And this is under assets, app icons. Here you just drag and drop your application icons. Then we have this app delegate file which is created for us some simple boilerplate code there and this is something new that started from xcode 11 this scene delegate which uh, contains some of the things that used to be in apple app delegate file and then we have a dummy uh, ui view and if you go to storyboard it's just a empty white view here and in the new Xcode, you have this nice map here. Currently, we have only one view, but once you have more views, this small map is quite helpful to navigate it through. And you can close these panels here, left and right. We used to have these buttons all in one place, but in Xcode 12, they are separated and each one is on a different side. Once you click on the left panel to uh, hide this, you can just bring over your mouse and uh, you can actually open it by clicking on the side panel here. What I'm going to do is go to Xcode preferences and here we have this, uh, let's find where the navigation is. 
and you can make it bigger or smaller okay it's under the general you go to navigation size and you can put it large which I'm going to do it's not very large but it helps you when you are watching the videos so it's easier for you to see the size you can change the coloring etc here as well or you can change the size of the text so you can do it even here command plus it will make the text larger or command minus to make it smaller I'm going to keep it quite large so it's easier for you to read the code from the screen okay um, the rest of the file we're not going to touch this is the launch screen the first screen our application shows before it uh, it's the loading part so we're not going to touch this either what um, what we need now is uh, after we set up our Xcode file project we are going to set up also our Firebase so the Firebase we are going to use in order to uh, save our data which is going to be our cloud database